Jesus. This would normally be full to the brim, but as you can see, it's dead. So with immediate effect, I've taken the decision to advise British nationals against non-essential travel globally. Bookings have collapsed and many of those who have booked aren't showing up. The government says air travel is down 50% and could eventually be stopped. Border restrictions, travel restrictions don't go abroad unless it's absolutely essential. To end the pandemic, we have to stop people moving around. Boris Johnson has declared that the UK is past the peak of the coronavirus outbreak. Border controls have been lifted after three months. The first tourists from the UK since March, but even now the experience is far from normal. Morning, Jesus, this has been a while. The time's 4.57 in the morning. I have not seen this time for at least four months. The last time I left the country would have been Ghana, and I think that was end of February. This is the longest I've stayed in one place for about three and a half years. I've been a bit unsure about flying, and to be honest, I still don't know how I feel about it. I haven't got a clue what this airport's gonna look like this morning, but it's been four months, and I am itching to go. Right, let me get this Uber button. I am late as usual. Should I put my bags in the boot, mate? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh. There's a mask, yeah. Do you want me to wear a mask, mate? Or? That's up to you. How are you finding all this coronavirus stuff? I've got instructions to sanitize for after every trip. Ah, so you, you know, sanitize the car after every yeah, trip? You never know. Yeah, that's Who it. Who got affected or not. Exactly. I do sanitize after 23rd of March. I've been in isolation for myself for one and a half month. You one and a half months yourself? In a one room. You were in isolation in one room for one, one and a half months? Yeah. I bet you're so happy to be back out in the car then. Everyone's so happy because the bar's open, club's open. So I'm happy as well, it's back to the work. Have you taken many people to the airport? Last week, I just been for two times. Two times last week? That's it. And how many times would you normally have gone before the pandemic? All week, about 20, 25. 25 times a week and you went twice last week? Well, the airport been closed, no flights, nothing yeah, else. Yeah, No it. holidays, so what are you gonna be do? I've been really unsure about traveling, to be honest, and I still don't know I feel about it because I'm gonna clue what to expect but it's been four months I'm itching to go I've got my mask ready so it's gonna be interesting to see what it's like going through this airport now compared to how it was before the pandemic and how the plane is the plane gonna be busy do you think the plane's gonna be busy I think it'll be quiet well I'm running a bit late so hopefully I'll be able to get through security quick Never seen the road for this time like that would it normally be really busy at this time really really busy I can't believe how quiet this airport is there's just absolutely no cars here at all Mohammed lovely to meet you mate no problem I hope it gets busier for you as well thanks again Mohammed have a good one have a good journey. yeah look after yourself see you later right it's time to put this mask on hopefully you'll still be able to hear me it feels like an absolute lifetime since I was last here. Right, it seems pretty dead. First impressions. It is absolutely dead. Normally, like all this would be rammed, but as you can see, there's only a few people. Security done. As you can hear, it's just absolutely silent because there's nobody here. Hand sanitizers. Obviously, I couldn't film security, but I was in and out of it in like five minutes. Probably the fastest I've ever done it in. This is absolutely mad. Normally, these corridors would just be rammed. Jesus. This would normally be full to the brim, but as you can see, it's dead. Every time. 
I'm going to go and see what the lounge is like. There is zero, well, I'll never say zero, but I think there's a very, very slim chance of sneaking into a lounge when it's this quiet. Due to government led COVID, your escape lounge is closed. Yep, you're not sneaking in there because it's not even open. So none of the lounges are even open. Even check out duty free. There is absolutely nobody in there whatsoever. It genuinely feels like I'm back in the airport in North Korea. Even though I keep hearing over the tannoy, a face mask must be worn 100% of the time. I'd say 50% of people are actually wearing a face mask in here. Right, I'm just getting to my gate now. It's actually quite busy over here, to be honest. Fair play, there does seem to be a fair few people on this flight. I didn't think half the people, to be honest, that would be waiting for this flight, but it seems busy. Cheers, thanks very much. Looks like a busy flight, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like, I think it's check 160, I think it's checking out. How many are on it, sorry? 160. 160, how much does the plane hold? 189. Jesus. Yeah, Have a good one, cheers, thanks. So the ladies just said the plane holds 189 people and there's 160 on there. 160 people on a plane that holds 189 people. I didn't expect that. Wow, it feels like I haven't been on a plane for ages. Hi, how are you? Hello, Hello. morning. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. I've just sat down on the plane wearing this mask, it's so uncomfortable. Um, obviously, it has to be done. To be honest, there's no social distancing in this plane. I've got a chair in between me and the lady, but I think you're just going to have to accept that you can't do it if you come on the plane. Everybody's meant to wear a mask, but there is people without masks. So. One thing I forgot to mention as well, so this flight is from Manchester to Alicante. I've done this flight a few times to be fair, and it normally costs me anywhere from 150 to 200 UK pounds. And this flight today has cost me 300 pounds one way, and then the return cost me 50 pounds. It's cost me 350 in total compared to the normal 150 pounds to 220 pounds. It makes you think because of the pandemic, is it going to push air prices higher? Because obviously there's fewer flights, obviously there's fewer people traveling. So it is going to be interesting to see what it does to the prices going forward. One thing that is for sure though, it is not going to stop me doing what I love doing. And just being sat at home for the last four months, it's just given me so much time to think of what I want to do and what I want to achieve. So the back end of this year is going to be busy, not to mention rat race too. And we are in Spain. It's going to be interesting to see what it looks like here as well. So far, huh? it looks absolutely dead. Right, I've just found out that I've got to fill this form in. I think it's just health stuff. Right, I have filled my health form in. I have passed through the passport scanners. Let's see what else there's to go through. Oh, here you go. Loads of cues, huh? Let's give these health forms in, I reckon. One moment, Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine. This? All good? Oh, have you visited? No. Uh, tourism. All good? Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. Have a nice time anyway. Yeah, Cheers. Yeah. Have a good one. And we are finally through. That wasn't too bad to be honest. I thought we were going to be waiting there for ages, but it wasn't too bad. Now, where is Jason? <laughs> Here he is. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? Long time no see. As we hey, go on. Look at this tan. It's not yeah. fair. <laughs> you all know Jason, Amsterdam to Barcelona. Hola. Actually, you were in Ghana with me. You were in the last video. I was. I was. <laughs> Flipping heck, doesn't Ghana feel like ages ago? Mate, that's exactly when all this crap started. I know. Where's this rental car? Straight there, down the stairs, and that's it. Is it a quad go a or are you We're just looking for the rental car. 
flipped an accent. Where have you been fluent in Spanish? Hey, I've been practicing every day. <laughs> oh, I can finally take this off. You can breathe. It's been a long time. It's nice to know that I can still use the camera. I don't know if the camera's got bigger or you've got smaller. <laughs> I don't know what's got bigger, you or the Mate, camera. Mate, I've been in quarantine <laughs> for four months. Of course I've got bigger. Mate, I need a, I need a wider angle lens. <laughs> right, I'm gonna enjoy this Spanish weather. Updates for Rat Race 2 are gonna be coming soon, so keep an eye on my Instagram and Twitter, at Simon J. Wills. It is good to be back. Guess where I'm going next?